Hey guys, it's McGann back with another Littlest Pet Shop video. I found a shoe box full of my old Littlest Pet Shop horses, so I'm going to get into those today. First though, let me show you the fencing for uh, one of these play sets. It says Indian Ponies on the cardboard cutout thing, so I'm going to assume that the set was called Indian Ponies. But um, for some reason, I have it in my head that this used to be part of like a zoo collection and then there was a whole separate pony collection. Oh, that's had better days on the back. But the front still looks really nice, doesn't it? Copyright 1993, Kinnear. And this is all original. This is my stuff. Um, I do have, I remember, this was a yellow pony. There was also a brown uh, with spotted booty. I think it's Appaloosa. Maybe, maybe. Um, but there was a brown one and they could kiss each other. The problem is, like I mentioned in my last video, when I went to come claim these, they were in an abandoned house that had been vacant for a long time and they had just broken in right after we came in and started organizing things. So I actually didn't find my uh, little pet shop stuff but when we came back and noticed that the place had been broken into, this horse was sitting at the bottom of the attic stairs and I had thought that they were all up in the attic. So um, it seems like maybe the robbers grabbed a handful of stuff and didn't realize it, or maybe they accidentally got uh, the hair or something stuck and dropped her. I don't know, but for some reason, like that's the only piece missing for this exact set. So I don't think they like went to the trouble to take one horse and not the other one. But here are the cardboard cards that I believe I cut off of the uh, box when they were released. And so yeah, that's the Palomino. And then this is the one that was missing, the Appaloosa, yes. I was right. And on the back I wrote that their names were Libby and Amanda. So unfortunately I can't show you my Libby because I don't know where she is. But I have lots of other horses to show you right now. Um, I think this was part of a different series because these don't have jewels in them, like the original one I got don't have jewels in them. And I remember I did get this set first because it was like a big deal. That was the first time the ponies had come out. But this one is pretty much the same as the one I named Amanda, except slightly different color and with a jewel and some glittery hair bits. But these two are negative magnets in them so they won't kiss. But, oh, I do remember that all the ones with the little jewels, I do believe they came with their own piece of fencing each. So each one had a different color of fencing, and that's why I have these three random colored, <laughs> colored fence pieces here. And now I have another one with the jewel, little paw print jewel here. Uh, more sparkly black hair with the sparkly purple. Whoops and the yellow harness and these saddles came off and so did these little tail accessories like I'm afraid that one might be melted on so I'm not gonna mess with it too much uh, like I said these are getting pretty old so I'm gonna try and be as polite with them as I can not to mess them up worse than they've not to put them through more than they've already been through basically and then I had this really pretty uh, pinto I think and that one's got like the gray hair with the rainbowy sparkly bit and the jewel right there. So that's why I think they're all part of the same set. And this one, yeah, this one just like kind of came up and down like it was uh, not rearing, not bucking. Uh, gosh, I've lost my horse terminology. It's just been way too long. And then I have these itty bitty baby foals and she does have a jewel if you turn her over. This one was a boy and this one was a girl to me and I, I don't know if that's how it was supposed to be but that's how they were to me. And they're little cutesy foals. And what I really just love about the original Littlest Pet Shop is that they actually look like animals. They weren't like the bobbleheads. And he also has a tail accessory, but I'm not going to mess with it too much because I'm afraid to mess with it and pull it out and anything. Uh, but I think these, if we're lucky, yes, they will nuzzle still. Oh, oh, they still love each other. I'm going to put them in here because Amanda's lonely. And then I've got tons and tons and tons of accessories over here. Let me pull out all the feed buckets. We've got a straw one with silver. We've got something with green hay in a silver bucket. Another just like it. They did not put too much effort in the design of this type. Well, it, actually, I will give them credit. It is a, if it will focus, a slightly different shade of green. And then hay in a purple bucket. 
And if I remember right, like, yeah, their faces would fit down in there. But, yeah, you could kind of do like that. Well, let me get a full-size horse. Maybe that would help. Come here, Amanda. Uh, no. I thought maybe I could hook it on the ears, but I don't want to risk breaking them, so I'm not going to do that. And then I have all sorts of itty-bitty accessories, and I'm not sure what goes to where, so let me just start pulling things over. I've got another very pretty little saddle, purple with uh, silver details. I've got a teal type of saddle blanket, which you could also just wear it as a saddle. I've got Libby's uh, saddle blanket. I know that's the one she came with because I think I looked it up when I couldn't find her because I couldn't figure out which one wasn't missing, but I knew one was. And yeah, that's why I don't understand. I don't know if she got knocked into a dark corner or if she got put in another box over the years just by mistake or what happened, but... I really don't see someone, even someone who's not a very good person or a very good burglar, taking one part of a toy and not the rest. Let's see, will you eat? Oh yeah, she'll go after that apple. Whoa, girl. I do remember, I think this apple came with that set. Oh, you're just so cute. I love horses, they're gorgeous. Then we have some carrots that I think are from the horses. If I can get that to focus. All right, just round up some more little bits. I think this is from this set or it could be something totally different. I'm really not positive. I'm not seeing any kind of maker stamp on it, but it was in the box with these. So I assumed maybe it was. Someone will know and correct me if I'm wrong. Cute little hay bale. And here's the saddle for the little twin foal. Come here, baby. I'm gonna put your saddle on. Oh, aren't you just such a pretty little ballerina butterfly? Woo! And now I almost murdered her. <laughs> Here I am going on about how delicate they are and I'm flinging them across the room. Little baby bottle for the baby horses with the paw print on it. And then I've got another one. This is what's on the boy's tail. It just kind of opens up and you can stick it on the base of their tail. I'm trying to make that focus, but it's just like a little starburst. And then there are some brushes galore. Because these were one of the first uh, My Little, My Little, My <laughs> Littlest Pet Shops that actually had hair. So it was, it was like a whole big deal. And then I've just got some more little odds and ends with brushes and another one of these pretty circles you put on their uh, tail. One of these days I'll learn how to talk. I just don't know what year it'll be. And oh, okay, I have a paper. And it says that the Pinto's name was Star. So that was Star. Uh, the Appaloosa was Libby. Libby's gone. Palomino was Amanda. Mystic is Grace. And the Sky Blaze Pony is Cody. I don't know which one would be Sky Blaze and which one would be Mystic. I kind of would lean towards this one being Mystic because it looks kind of smoky mystical. But I don't know that this one looks like a Sky Blaze. This one also looks like a Sky Blaze. So I don't know. You guys will have to help me figure that out if you would. And I think that's it, other than the bucket that I dropped on the floor like a fool. But I do have an old Littlest Pet Shop catalog that I'm going to open and go through with you. And I'm going to cry remembering all the things I used to have. Okay, so far I didn't have it. I had this playset, but it was like teal and it came with like a set. Yeah, the lovebirds up in the corner. And... Okay, this looks like it might be series two because I don't think I, I, like, I already had them, so I didn't buy them again in different paint jobs, which is what the series two kind of was. And, but yeah, I know, I mean, I know I had a green iguana, I had a gray bunny, I had a Dalmatian, I had some kind of bird, I think, and a little gray kitten, but they were just different paint jobs. And like, I had the monkeys, but they were all brown. And I didn't have the mice. I had the kittens, but they were different colors. I had all the puppies that were different colors. The gerbils, it was a whole different colored set. Turtles were different colored. I think I might have had these puppies in the basket. Um, Then Beethoven. I'm surprised I didn't have these because I love Beethoven second. I, I was like so in love with that movie. 
And then Little's Pet Shop Charms. I don't think I ever sent away from for these, but I remember sending off for the other ones that they did where you could get like a basket of babies or something like that. And oh yeah, there's the different charms you could pick out. My gosh, it's funny how you see something and it's like, that's so familiar. And the zoo and the stable play sets, I did not have. Okay, keep me safe. I might have had that one. I can't quite remember. Um... None of these look familiar, so I think the these were coming out when I was kind of getting out of Littlest Pet Shops. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Zoo Indian Ponies. That was the set I had out of the three, and that's the Libby that's missing. If you find her, send her home. And then I don't think I had any of these. None of these look familiar. And then we're back to the front of the catalog. All right, you guys. Well, that's pretty much my Littlest Pet Shop video for today. If I ever find my Libby, I will gladly do another video of that full set uh, to the best that I can remake it. But otherwise, uh, this is it for Littlest Pet Shops unless I find my... Oh, I forgot to show you the stable. This stable came with the twins. Almost totally logged off and forgot. And it's got some really nice details. It kind of, it comes apart on the sides and on the roof so you can kind of build it yourself. But you can see the stickers are really cute. And it's got a really nice level of detail on it. And the roof is even matches the pet shop. So I never wrote their names on it. So uh, it doesn't look like I gave them names. Unless, of course, they're the mystic in the Sky Blaze Pony. But I don't think so. I guess they could be Gracie and Cody. But I don't know. I can't remember. Anyways, thank you guys for playing with me today. And I'll see you in the next video.